Hi everybody, I'm Milind Kulkarni, uh, VP, Head of Wireless Lab at Interdigital. As we're wrapping down the MWC 2025 activities, thought I'd share some uh, information with you about how our demos are showing readiness for future networks, in particular 6G. As you all aware, over the five years, uh, Interdigital, Interdigital has been at the forefront of advancing 6G research, working with our academic and industrial partners. And it's all kind of coming together over next week when 3GPP will hold a 6G workshop, which we are participating along with our industry partners. And we're looking forward to developing what 6G content would be over the next several months, starting with this workshop. Uh, we are hoping that uh, by the end of this year, we'll have a very good idea of what topics will be selected uh, by, on a consensus basis through 3GPP uh, as far as what 6G will be. Uh, and, and the first specification will come out in roughly 2029. So over the next five years, a lot of work to be done, but we are very excited about all the research we've done so far and will continue to do as we go forward. Let me share with you one of the two areas that are uh, coming in as a differentiators in 6G when you compare with 5G. Uh, as many of you may know that uh, AI, of course everybody's been talking about AI, so we'll talk about that as well, and integrated sensing and communications are the two new features that are being discussed in 6G, although AI has been discussed in 5G as well. Here we have a demonstration of how integrated sensing and communications will work. We have a little automated guided vehicle that uses radio frequencies to sense objects as well as a proximity sensor. And when the robot senses something in its proximity, it halts and the processing will take place that uh, determines whether the object in front of it is still there or has been removed. And when I remove this object in its line of sight, the robot will continue its path. Here we have another demo that brings together AI and integrated sensing and communications, which would be at the cutting edge of a 6G technology. We have used a um, radio network that makes a simulated devices with a radio unit and simulated G node Bs. And in this computer, we are doing AI processing of the information that's collected. As you can see, our AI models, which are very efficient, can do the prediction of a, when a person is moving or starting to slow down, which was indicated by the yellow, or will be stopping as it's indicated by the red frameworks. We have developed this demo in partnership with Keysight, who have been um, gracious enough to uh, loan their equipment to us. One of the equipment is also a prop simulator, which simulates all the channel conditions that we have used in this demonstration. We have a lot of other demos as well where we show uh, new AI technologies which we call split and squeeze to take the neural network models and split them between a device as well as a cloud and squeeze the information so we make efficient use of the bandwidth that's available. We also have some video demonstrations which actually show you how we could reduce the um, energy that's being used by the uh, devices uh, using AI to determine which pixels can use less energy without affecting the quality of the video, as well as some volumetric video and haptic feedback that you could experience on a real lifelike sports entertainment. We are really and truly excited about all these new technologies that we are developing, we are researching, as well as bringing through the standards 
in 3GPP as well as MPAG as we go forward. Thank you very much.